Starting off, I would love for everyone to do introductions and our wonderful interpreter, Lisa, will interpret. Hi guys. Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Kojima and I am the director of Made in Abyss. Thank you so much for coming. Did you enjoy it? Hello, I'm Kevin. Shall I inter interpret for you too, Yeah, Kevin? change it from Australian into American. <laughs> oh, I can help with this. <laughs> Okay, there you go. <laughs> um, I'm Kevin. I did the music for Made of This. Aww. And thanks so much for having me. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Woo! And this is Nanachi. This is my plush one. Had a great cameo, all right? Good to see you. James Landino. Hi, everyone. Hi. Good evening. Hi. <laughs> I'm Jima, and sorry, it's music producer with Watch of the Kids Fancy. So, really good voices. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, uh, uh, thank you so much for coming to play in you know, my uh, medium to Uh Do you want to enjoy it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Uh, now I'm speaking Japanese, thank you. Made in Abyss producer no Yamashita desu. Uh, we Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Yamashita and I am the producer of this film, Made in Abyss. It's so wonderful and I feel so honored to be here and to be able to show it in the movie theater to you guys. Once more, did you enjoy the film? Wonderful. With that, I do have some questions from our office, and we will should have time for one or two audience questions. So with that, this is a question for everyone. How did you first get involved with the Made in Abyss project? えー、とても単純です。僕が本屋さんで筑紫先生の漫画を読んでファンになったからです。Pretty simple. I was in a bookstore and when I saw the manga for Tsukusensei, I fell in love. That's pretty much it. で、まあ、実際そこからこの作品をもう大好きな作品をアニメにしたいと思った時に制作会社キネマストラスの小笠原さんに相談しましたそしたら小島監督を紹介されたんです And then from there I was trying to figure out how and where and I would get involved and how I would get everything started and I went to a production company and there was a guy named Mr. Ogasawara Ogasawara and he was the one that introduced me to Mr. Kojima and that's how it started で、あの、僕があの、その小川さんからえ、その原作を紹介されて、で、僕も原作の、その、表紙を見て、え、その原作に、え、一目惚れしました。I think Kojima san said and then I was introduced as well to this wonderful manga. He said when I first saw the jacket of the manga, I fell in love. It was as simple as that. はい、で、あの、実際あの中の内容を見て、え、さらにそのアビスっていう作品の魅力に引き付けられて、え、ぜひともこれは、え、自分の手で、ま、映像化したいっていうふうに思いました。He said and as I started to read the manga, I really 
grew more um, involved in the world of the abbess, and I decided I really definitely need to make this happen. I need to make this film. それで、えー、その時、キネマストラスと一緒に、えー、仕事をしていた、別の仕事をしていたケビンと飯島さんをさらに紹介してもらって、えー、音楽はこの二人に任せればいいんじゃないかと、紹介を受けて、えー、初めてお会いしました。And then、um, he said that he was working on another project, and through that other project, he was introduced to These two lovely gentlemen over here, Ijima-san and Kevin-san, and he asked them to be in charge with for the music, and that's how it all started. I guess I'd take over. <laughs> um, yeah, I was working on the, another project with uh, Kinema Citrus, uh, an anime called、uh, Nord 9. That was in 2016. We also did a, yeah, something called、uh, Under the Dog, which was a Kickstarter anime originally. And、uh, through that, through that connection with、uh, Kinema Citrus, it's really weird hearing, hearing your voice in surround. <laughs> um, uh, 5.1, yeah.、Um, through that, after we had completed、uh, these two、uh, shows, Under the Dog and Non Nine,、uh, Okasawara san and Ijima san came to me and said,、uh, We have this new project. And I said, Okay. And, All of a sudden, it was made for this, and then we just went and started writing. And here in a big movie theater, I'm not sure what happened in between. <laughs> <laughs> so, I remember at the six years I was seven years old, as you may, Kevin is probably in his years, 20, 22? First time you said, Oh, I was 22 when we met. 22, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So young as for people, yes, that gets so interesting. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> so I remember it's for, it's the main case at the project in the Under the Dog Sales for Nord Nines. So, really good for joining.、Uh, so, genius. You're a genius. So, so it's making the music for emotionally, for action. Action, it's music is good. So, it balances for. It's perfectly for it, good composers. So it's made up is bad for it. It's changed to the new gen genes. It challenges. That's it. Well, with Maiden Abyss, we didn't really have much of a blueprint. So it was sort of, okay, this, we're not sure exactly what music is going to work. So it was, yeah, it was, it was a bit of a guess, but it worked out. Well, funny you were just speaking of that, because our next two questions come from our office where we have some very big fans. Kevin, they would like to know what were some of your inspirations for the different music and th musical themes in the film? Um, so, when I started writing,、um, as you can kind of see behind us on this big image, Uh, there's a lot of foreground with the characters being very up close in the picture, and then there's a lot of background behind it. So there's a lot of sort of, it's a very dynamic picture. It's a very dynamic sort of、uh, color palette and artistic approach as well with the background art.、Um, if you are able to derive musical parameters from that, you can sort of see how it would make sense to have sort of some. Instruments quite up front and sort of quite clear in the mix, but then、yeah. also have a lot of sort of background atmospheres and, and things like that, sort of creating that depth that the. Oh, is the, is the mic just cutting out? Is the mic cutting out here? Okay, sorry. I'm silently freaking out there.、Um, I am in the abyss. I'm, things are going wild, man.、Um, So, you know, creating that depth between、uh, sort of the foreground and the background was、uh, an interesting sort of point to start with, musically speaking. And within that, you can kind of distort styles and sort of, you know, genres at your leisure. But as long as you have that sort of approach of a lot of foreground and a lot of background, it should work out. Well, that's, the plan. that's the plan. And this next question is for. 
Kojima-san, do you think we will ever know all the mysteries of the abyss? Are you talking about all the secrets of the abyss? アビスの中のそう。I believe that we will know all the secrets at one point. But Mr. Yamashita, I leave that to you. 何年後になるんでしょうかね? How many years will it be? Uh, やっぱりえっと the only person that really knows the secrets of the abyss is the one that writes it and creates it. Um, and so he said that we all look forward to uh, Tsukushi Sensei's uh, manga that comes out every month, but that they have heard some of the things that are coming up in the future. この間発表した新作の映画もそうですけれども作っていきたいなと思っているのであのアビスの秘密を知りたければみんなに広めて応援していただけると嬉しいです。He said so if you would like to know all the secrets of the abyss then if you could continue to support this film um, and they are very interested of course in giving you all the secrets that are going to be coming up. So it would be wonderful if you guys could continue to support it and tell people about it, word of mouth. And you do have two more chances coming, eh? Nice plug. And before we turn to one or two audience questions, I always like to ask something fun. Who is your personal favorite character in Made in Abyss? Who is your personal favorite character? えっとですね。実を言うとあの前編では出てきてないあのある動物がいるんですけども、その動物が非常に可愛くて、僕は大好きです。小島さん<笑><笑><笑> said actually his favorite character is not in this film. But hopefully it will come out soon. Really, really cute animal that he really loves. This might seem a little cynical considering who I'm holding, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I actually really like Bondru. It's uh, not, yeah, yes. Yeah, that's so it's bad. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> We won't tell, we won't tell. Yeah, that's okay. Now I have to write music for that guy at some point this year, so um, yeah, I'm looking forward to diving into that, that mind of his and seeing what comes out. It's not going to be fun, but it's going to be impactful. So yeah, Bondrude, and none that she's pretty cool as well. <laughs> I'm as Rake as Fairbodies. Yeah, Rake. Rake. まあ、勇敢だし、すごい優しい。なんか、あの、まあ、あの、鉄の体も大好きですね。He says that he loves Rego. He loves the fact that he's very kind and also he has this iron body as well. That's good. Oh, Maruku-chan. 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 Yes. And he has a picture of um, Kawaii. <laughs> With that, I believe cute. we have just enough time for one question, and you couldn't even wait for me to finish. What's up, man?
、今日ご覧にいただいた前編は、えー、8話分のエピソードが入ってます。8 So I'll just go ahead and repeat the question because there are probably people、um, back there who didn't really get a chance to hear you.、Um, you were asking, you said that Made in the Abyss, the anime series itself,、um, has 13 episodes, and you're asking how many were in this myth film. And there's eight, he said. The first one 13 Okay, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 are the ones that it is. This is your name? 13 so there were 30, 30 minutes, two times. I do have just enough time for your question. Yes. なんかこの、えー、とアニメの方のアダプテーションだから漫画からその映画に作るあのクリエーションそれはあ、えー、とキャラクターとか漫画の、えー、作,る作る時にはどうだったのか大変だったのかとか結構あの独特なスタイルの、えー、とあの原作をお読みになった方はお分かりだと思うんですけどもあの非常にあの確かに独特の絵で、えっと、しかもですね非常にねあのうまいっていうかクリエイティブな絵だったんですよねだからそれを、えー、筑紫先生一人で描いてるわけだけど、まあ、アニメの場合はそれを何人かに、えー、まとめてこうに、えー統一を取らせなきゃならなかったんで、そういう意味では非常に難しかったです。He said that probably one of the most difficult things about doing it is, first of all, it is a very unique style,、uh, very creative. He said absolutely beautiful. And one of the things that was probably the hardest thing about doing it is, of course, you have Tsukishi san who's doing the manga by himself. And then when you have the anime, it's done by a team. And then you have the movie, and that's a whole different thing. So, kind of the balance between that was really hard. He said, however, even though it was a really it was a challenge, it also made him want to work really hard to make it really good. With that, I would like to thank everyone for coming out and joining us, and I hope you go again to see it with your friends and let everyone know what you thought. <laughs>